in this lecture we will discuss about sr nand gated latch that also positive level with a positive level okay so this is the symbol so it contain three inputs two are data inputs sr one is control input we can call it as enable or clock it will work with the clock levels okay so here we take in positive level means it uh, its value will be one clock or enable value will be one it means it is working with positive level present okay then outputs are two q1 q1 okay so we have to write uh, straight to yes q in the diagram also straight to yes q so why we, it is called gated latch we'll see okay so whatever the input side two nand gates are there these are called gated part or driving part and these last output side two nand gates are called latch part this two nand gates nothing but non gated latch part okay suppose if you take a bus driver will be at starting so that's why this is called driving part or gated part okay this is the latch part so latch part at output side driving or gated part at input side so in the non gated latches these gates are not there that's why that is called non gated latch okay right see the construction here yes we connected to this or we connected to this gate and the clock is common to both gates okay this is the construction now we'll see the working so before going to further process we should have this latch truth table this latch is a non gated sr latch so that truth table we should have so i taken that truth table in a simplified way so we know from the non gated sr nand latch when inputs are 0 0 we get invalid when inputs are 0 1 it means s 0 or 1 we get set 1 and when s 1 or 0 we get reset 0 and when both inputs are 1 1 it will be hold okay so in any gated latch or flip flop also the design process is after drawing this symbol and logic diagram and this latch truth table non gated latch truth table then we have to do characteristic table then we have to do excitation table then we have to do characteristic equation these are the steps okay so this is step 1 this is step 1 this is for step 2 not step 2 this is for step 2 then this is step 2 then step 3 step 4 so these are steps are common to gated latches and flip flops also for both any any gated latch and any flip flop okay now we'll see how to do characteristic table so in the characteristic table generally we take the inputs and present state and then we predict the next state okay so here in the format is we take enable or clock so i mentioned this is uh, positive level so positive level means uh, it will work whenever we apply one <clears throat> okay and we will see what happen when we apply zero also for positive level if we apply zero what will happen zero means negative level for positive level circuit if we apply negative level what will happen and for positive level circuit if we apply Post level only, then what will happen? Both will see. Okay, right. Suppose when I apply zero, it means for a post level circuit, if I apply negative level, whatever the data inputs, SR can be any value. It can be zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, and QN value also can be any one. Whatever it may be, it will become hold. Okay, QN n plus one become QN only. okay so here in this condition circuit is not triggering because post not triggering means post level circuit will respond to only positive 
level not to negative level it is not responding or not recurring however it is in previous it will be like that only there is no change in the circuit that's the mean okay now we'll see what will happen if we apply power to level okay so how to write this s value r value given value we'll see suppose there are two inputs means four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 will come so this given can be zero when inputs are zero zero or it can be one also when inputs zero zero and given can be zero when inputs are zero one or it can be one also when inputs are zero one like that given can be zero when inputs are one zero or it can be one also for one zero and finally given given can be zero for inputs one one and it can be one also for inputs one one okay like that we have to write in any gated latch or any flip flop we have to write like this only okay right remember now we'll see given n plus one values and state values state names okay so here now i am applying s equal to zero r equal to zero and clock value one then what will happen go to the circuit diagram here it is zero here it is zero here it is one here it is one. it means if any one input is zero output become one any one input is zero output become one it means one one are going to non-gated latch when one one going to non-gated latch, see what will happen hold will happen this hold will happen so circuit will become hold it means n plus one become n only what is the n value when we apply s0 or 0 n value is 0 so n plus 1 0 and n value 1 also so that's why n plus 1, 1 value also becoming 1 so this is called hold 0 is there 0 is coming so hold 1 is there 1 is coming so hold but what's the difference between this hold and these two holds this hold is happening because of no change in the circuit no change means circuit is not responding okay however it is in previous like that only but here it is responding but it is giving same as previous output but here it is resp responding that is the triggering that is the meaning of triggering okay that you have to observe now we'll see next condition what happening when we apply s0 or 1 s0 or 1 we will go to diagram and we will check so here i applying 0 and here 1 clock is 1 1 okay so if any one input is 0 so it will become 1 here here below both are 1 so it will become 0 so it means 1 0 is going when 10 going, what is the output? See here. 10 going, what is the output? Reset. Reset value is 0. So, reset. Okay. Here, reset coming. So, reset means value 0, 0. In both cases, 0, 0. Okay. Once observed, this 0, 1 is going to gated part, not to latch part. But latch part is getting 10. Okay, that's why reset that you have to observe. Okay, next condition. In this case, uh, similarly, you can apply driving part getting 10, but latch part will get to 0, 01. When we get 0, 01, we know it will become set. Then 11 one, one is happening. Latch driving part getting 11, one, one, but latch part to getting 0, 0 at input. So it will become invalid. <coughs> So, invalid x means here, what you have to observe, here x means 0 or 1, here x means 0 or 1, here x means 0 or 1. And here, what it means, here invalid means, this given plus 1 value and given plus 1 bar value both are same. That's the meaning. Okay. Now we'll see excitation paper. This is step 10. So, in the excitation table, we write n to n plus 1. This n is the present state, n plus 1 is the next state. 
at input side and we will predict what can be the sr values input value when we get n n plus 1 this values what can be the sr values input value like that we do excitation table okay so if there are two input means 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 will come four combination so now how to write this sr values in excitation table we'll see so what is the n n plus first value combination 0 0 now go to characteristic table from the characteristic table only we have to write excitation see n no n plus 1 value here one time 0 0 and here one time 0. okay so here in this two here zero oh, here this is zero and this zero what is the s value zero only so yes we are getting same value so it will be zero but r we are getting different value see here zero it is one whenever different value how to write like x okay so we will get zero x for zero zero we will get zero x now we will see for zero one but 0 1 is there at one place only see here this uh, 0 1 there at one place but 0 0 there at two places that's why we compared so for 0 1 only what n plus we can simply write s1 or 0 s1 or 0 okay next we'll see 1 0 s equal to q1 equal to 1 and n plus 1 equal to 0 for 10 we are getting 0 1 s0 r1 s0 r1 now we'll see for n no n plus 1 1 1 it will be at two places so here at one place and here at one place so here what are we getting s value 0 and here we are getting 1 so yes we are getting different but r we are getting same okay same is why what we getting are zero but s different so we write x so like that we have to write excitation table okay now characteristic table characteristic table so what is meant by characteristic table we have to determine next state q1 plus one value by assuming data inputs and present state as kmap variables okay so from the characteristic table only we have to do characteristic equation here we have to determine this n plus one next state by assuming this uh, qn and uh, sr as uh, kmap variables okay this qn is also called present state or state okay so whatever the one values are x values okay if we are doing with sop map one values are x values we have to substitute those in the k map and we have to determine the equation so i, I substituted and i determined so i got n plus q1 plus one equal to s plus q1 r bar okay so what's the benefit of this one i can determine q1 plus one value by substituting s value and given value r r value in this equation right okay that's the benefit so here whatever this whole happening this value is going to this side okay like this from left to right side they are going but when we take hold in the non-gated latch how it happened we'll see this is in uh, gated latch but uh, how it happened in non gated latch that we will see see here hold is happening from from top to bottom like this okay but we no need to remember right to left to top to bottom like that just i am showing observe the difference in this lecture we will see sr nand gated latch with uh, negative level so negative level means uh, here we are applying a clock or enable negative level zero okay so it will trigger or respond when we apply zero at clock so in the symbol we have to show we have to keep a bubble at the clock okay that's the representation it means we apply 
outside zero but inside it will be inverted and inside it will go as one okay so pause to level circuit respond when we apply one it will become hold when we apply zero but negative level circuit will become hold when we apply one but it will respond when we apply zero okay that we have to observe we'll see uh, this uh, true table is the latch part non gated true table that we know this is the characteristic table next excitation then characteristic equation this characteristic equation this excitation table will become same as pause to level only no difference okay only in the characteristic table we can see the difference in this part only clock part remaining everything same no difference so here for negative level if i if i apply one it will become four but if i apply zero it will respond but this zero is becoming invert okay suppose when i applying zero zero sr zero zero what happening will see one condition so here applying zero zero and the clock is zero this will become invert ultimately it will become one one so it is becoming same as pause to level only okay right in this lecture i will explain both pause to level and negative level sr nor gated latches okay separately pause to level and negative level separately okay first we will discuss pause to level so here why the main nor latch came because latch part is not If this latch part is NAND, it will become NAND latch. Why gated? Because to that latch, there are some driving or gated part is attached at the input side. That's why. Okay. And one more thing we have to observe between gated NAND and gated NOR. In gated NAND, latch part is NAND and driving part also NAND. But in gated NOR, latch part is NOR. But the driving part is and, but not nor. Okay, remember this. This is applicable to any other latches, gated latches, and flip flop cut. Okay. So why be using uh, under gates here? Because we change latch, so get the same output as gated and latch. We have to change these gates. That's the reason. So ultimately, whether it is a gated and or gated nor. The output should be same. Whether it is a gated NAND or gated NOR, it is a latch only. Gated latch only. Gated latch means that should behave same. Even we change the latch part. Okay, changing the latch part is a different way of constru construction. But the ultimately, the functionality of gated latch should be same. To make the gated latch functionality or behavior same, okay, we are changing the gates. In the construction, that's the reason. Okay, but if we take non-gated NAND or NOR, they both behave different. The truth table will be different. Okay, that's the drawback there. Okay, some more drawbacks also there with latches. I will discuss later. Okay, so symbol will be same as NAND latch only. Only this logic diagram is changing. Okay, and the remaining all steps uh, and this uh, truth table will change. Latch part truth table because this is now nor latch. Okay, but remaining this step two, step three, step four, everything is same. No difference. Okay, we will see one uh, input. Suppose when I apply zero zero, and with pause to lever, uh, clock is one. So then, what will happen here? I am applying zero zero, and this is one. So it means zero one one zero. If any input zero, and gate will become output becomes zero, and here also output becomes zero. Okay. So what going to nor latch? Zero zero is going. When zero zero is going, what will become nor latch hold? Okay. Same happening. We do like that. However, we got with. Gated NAND latch with pause to level like that only we can get. Okay, there is no other difference. Now we'll see negative level. 
only here we have to keep inverter and here we have to keep bubble remaining everything same remaining all same as uh, positive no other difference only in this uh, table we know these values will change clock values okay right in this lecture we'll see the working of d gated nand latch with positive level we can simply also call it as latch d latch okay d latch always means gated latch there is no non gated latch in d okay this is the logic diagram we can get to d latch logic diagram from sr latch only suppose take sr so in the sr this will be s this will be r just interconnect that sr and make it as d okay then sr uh, gated latch will become d gated latch but here if i are using nand latch part you know driving part will come nand and when we using nand latch part you have to connect inverter here to the r okay that we have to remember this is the logic diagram the same logic diagram we can do in another way just i replaced uh, this uh, not with nand okay both are right this one and this one also right and i did another way see here instead of using inverter here i am getting this i am connecting here okay whatever this connection i am connecting here so it will become same ultimately what we getting will see here suppose if i apply zero here <clears throat> and if it is a positive level 1 zero one if any input is zero then it will become one so here i am applying uh, zero i am getting one inverted ultimately that one only coming here na okay so if i apply zero here i need one here if i apply zero here i will get one here that one i can connect here okay so when i apply zero here i will get one here i need one so that one i am connecting here so we no need to use inverter in this case this is also same as above diagrams out of the, these three diagrams we can use any okay this is this is the symbolic representation okay now we'll see the karstic table we'll take the clock d given n plus 1 and state you know this is post to level when i apply zero next state will be as present state okay whatever the d value or present state values but when i apply one circuit response circuit will trigger at a post to level okay so this q1 can be zero when we apply input zero or q1 can be one also for input zero and q1 can be zero for input one and q1 can be one also for input one like that we have to write okay suppose when i applying zero what it means when i applying zero this is zero it will become one it means we are applying s0 or one when we apply s0 or one in sr gated latch what happened circuit became reset na so 0 1 here it will become 1 0 1 means nand latch will give uh, reset okay that reset we have to write see here in these two cases reset 0 will come when i apply 1 here what will happen d value when i apply 1 it will become 1 0 it will become 0 1 when i apply 0 1 circuit become set circuit become set set means one okay so we can simply draw logic diagram and karstic table from the sr uh, gated latch itself okay for d also this is the excitation table
this excitation table also we can get from this uh, characteristic table okay i told in uh, previous lectures how to get excitation table from characteristic table same process okay here one shortcut whatever n plus 1 q n plus 1 that will become d blindly we can write for d okay not for other latches or flip flops now in the characteristic table you can observe one thing you can write n plus 1 also blindly it will become as d okay for these conditions four conditions okay now and one more thing we have to observe in logic diagram whatever d that will become s yes, straight to the s yes, we have to write q if we are using this latch part as an end okay finally we'll see the characteristic equation i am getting q1 plus 1 equal to d when i substitute in the k map that also that only happening in the excitation table na ultimately in the excitation table and characteristic table also same happening because ultimately characteristic equation means we have to determine n plus 1 okay n plus 1 is nothing but d okay now we'll see with the power to level d gated nor latch with the nor latch part okay symbol will be same so here latch part nor whenever this is nor i told driving part will be and but to, we have to observe two changes here here we have to connect inverter to at r place not at s place whenever this is nor latch part this change we have to do okay and uh, straight to the s yes, we have to write q bar that also this is common this is applicable everywhere we know okay right now characteristic table will be same as the previous excitation table will be same as previous characteristic equation also will be same as previous now we'll see with the nand negative level negative level means you just here you have to connect in water in the symbol you have to keep bubble here okay characteristic table you know simply here this clock values we will change here previously zero now it will become one here these all becomes zero previously all are ones this is only change everything same this is same this is same now with the negative level nor okay here we keep inverter and here we keep bubble okay now just this this is same as previous and this is same as previous and this is same as previous okay before watching this lecture you should do watch sr gated non gated latches then only you can understand this okay right in this lecture we'll discuss about jk latch nothing but jk gated latch there are no non gated latches in jk okay first we'll discuss with pause to level this is the diagram we can get this diagram from sr only okay first to draw sr you know how to draw and name this sr s as j and r as k then connect this q to here and connect this q bar to here okay or we can do another connection also so this we can give here and this connection we can give here we can do like that also okay so from sr only we can get jk this is the symbolic diagram okay and this is with nand latch part then we'll see the characteristic table this characteristic table almost same as sr characteristic table only when j equal to 1 k equal to 1 here only change will come so here what will happen in sr invalid happen here toggle will happen toggle means if the present state is 0 toggle means 1 like a complement and the present state is 1 next state will be 0 okay but 
this 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 again they, it will happen continuously multiple complement is called toggle multiple and unlimited that is called unstable output nothing but racing okay when we apply z equal to 1 k equal to 1 and uh, clock equal to 1 this uh, jk latch will toggle okay continuously this is called racing only this condition is difference compared to sr and jk remaining all are same okay this jk flip flop came to avoid this invalid condition because in sr this state is unused state so we want to make it use that's why jk came to make it useful but in the jk we made it useful but we are not getting a stable output okay that is the drawback so the jk advantage is avoiding invalid condition of rs and the jk drawback is getting unstable or racing output okay next excitation table you know how to do this from a characteristic table i explained in previous lectures this is the characteristic equation okay you know how to do it also i explained previously now coming to negative level uh, jk latch okay with an and latch part so here not gate will come and here bubble will come that you know here once observe with an and latch part always we write q straight to the z that you have to remember so this characteristic table is same as previous okay just here previous is positive level this is negative level just these values will we have to change you know that okay excitation table and characteristic equation same now coming to nor okay with the nor latch part so here with respect straight to the j we have to write q bar that we have to observe and this is same as positive with an and okay no other difference this is same as above this is same as above with a negative level same nor latch part here we keep bubble and here inverter this is same as negative level with nand okay this is also same this is also same okay to understand these or this topic you have to see previous lectures from the flip flops and latches starting then only you can understand it properly okay in this lecture we'll discuss about t latch t gated latch there are no non gated latches in t okay so this is with positive level and with nand latch part we just to interconnect to j and k from the jk only we get t we just interconnect j and k and we'll name as t okay but here we don't use any inverter in the jk connection okay as we connect to sr and to make a d by connecting inverter like that here we don't use any inverter okay that you have to observe next to this is a characteristic table okay so here uh, in the characteristic table if you are applying t equal to 0 means j0 k0 what will happen when j0 k0 hold will happen that's why hold and when t equal to 1 means j1 k1 what will happen toggle will happen okay hold means this 0 i am writing as it is 1 i am writing as it is this 0 becoming 1 and 1 becoming 0 okay Here also toggle means race condition. This is the excitation table. One thing we can observe in excitation table. Here, when we apply XR operation to QN and QN plus 1, it is this T is matching to XR output. See here same 0. Below also same 0. But the second and third condition 0, 1, 1, 0 different. So we are getting 1. Okay. That we have to observe. 
and this is the characteristic uh, equation here also we are getting q1 plus 1 equal to txr q1 okay right now we'll see negative level with an and latch part okay here we use this bubble and here not get that you know and in the characteristic table here we write one and here zeros okay remaining everything same as previous excitation table and characteristic equation same as previous now we'll see with the positive level with the nor latch part okay this circuit will change then here positive level means here zero and these all are ones okay remaining everything same excitation table characteristic equation same so this is characteristic equation not table equation previously also what is their equation okay right now this is with the negative level nor latch part here bubble will come and here not get so here we are getting one and here zeros excitation table and characteristic equation all are same okay 